Hey guys, Pastor Eddie here with a minute coffee this morning. You know, I posted yesterday about um, me going out and finding a job to supplement the income for the ministry and for myself. Why do I do this? Simple, because Paul, who is our apostle, who was given to us, the Gentiles, to teach us the doctrine of grace, told me to, through God. You know what? Let's read about it. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, starting at verse 8. So being affectionately desirous of you, we were willing to have imparted unto you not the gospel of God only, but also our souls, because ye are dear unto us. For ye remember, brethren, our labors and, toil and travails, the laboring night and day, because we would not be chargeable unto any of you. We preach unto you the gospel of God. Yet we are witnesses, and God also, how holy and just and unblameable we behave ourselves among you that believe. As ye know how we exhorted and confronted and charged every one of you as a father doth his child that ye would walk worthy of God who hath called you into his kingdom and glory for this cause also we 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 thank God without ceasing because ye have received the word of God which ye heard of us ye received it not as the word of man, but as it is the truth, the word of God, which effectively worketh also in you that believe. Paul was telling the church of Thessalonica, we desire to come to you, but we had to earn our keep. You know, I have a pension, I have my social security, but there's sometimes I just need to have just a little extra. And I don't like listening to these big mega pastors. We have a need in the church, so you got to tithe deliriously, hilariously you got to give. God loves a joyful giver. You know what? How about this? God loves a pastor that will work for his own keep and use the... The, the money that is given in a love offering to pay the bills of the church and to minister to the widows and the orphans. And then he would give out the gospel freely without taking any pay from the congregation. Wow. <laughs> How well do you think that would go over with some of these mega pastors that make millions and drive Porsches and Bentleys, you know, and have all these gold rings on and, you know, all the fancy watches, you know, and the slick down hairdos and the custom made suits and they fly around on private aircraft and they have tour buses and they have these big worship teams that sound like a rock concert. What would happen if all that went away? Would you still listen? You know, if he's given the word of God, you would. And that's what I'm doing. I was blessed to find a perfect part-time job, just, a, just what I needed, to make sure that we have what we need in order to continue to give the gospel out, to continue to help those, and to continue to pay my bills. I don't need your help. So with that, understand that 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 8 through 13, you need to understand. You need to live by him. Share with your pastor. See what he says. Linda and I love you. Pastor Tony and the rest of us here at Reaching Our City Ministries, we're praying for you. May God bless you with every blessing that he has for you. May he bring you peace, comfort, and knowledge of his word as you reach, teach, equip, and send out others to do the work of an evangelist today. May God bless you guys, and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.